and welcome to Wit AM News, a daily look at world, national, and regional news, sports, campus events, and weather. I'm Elliot Herbst. Several agencies responded to an emergency call from two duck hunters whose boat was sinking Sunday morning. The father and son were on an oxbow lake in the Tyvel Bend Wildlife Management Area. They said that they were returning to the boat ramp when their boat began to taking on water. A DNR conservation officer and an Iowa State Patrol trooper pulled the two from the stranded boat and took them to shore. Their names have not been released and no medical treatment was necessary. The body of a missing Nebraska kayaker is found in western Iowa. K KETV reporters say that 33-year-old Cody Benford of Bellevue left the boat ramp at the Nobles Lake Wildlife Management Area on Friday afternoon, but he was never returned. Benford's overturned kayak was found a short time later, and divers with the Midwest Regional Dive Team recovered his body on Saturday. The cause of Benford's death is under investigation. Iowa's unemployment rate remained at 2.5% in September for the third straight month. The total number of working Iowans increased to 1,694,200 in September, 7,900 higher than August. The number of unemployed residents rose by 400 last month to 44,200. Government shed a combined 1,200 jobs in September, while private employers gained 800 jobs. Iowa Workforce Development Director Beth Townshed said although unemployment remains low for our state, there are still tens of thousands of positions open. Iowa job, Iowa's jobless rate is a full point lower percent than the Iowa rate of 3.5%. We'll be right back with a look at your WIT TV weather and campus events. But first, here's a look at the menu for today. This week on campus is your leading student-run newscast in the Siouxland area. The weekly show features all things Western Iowa Tech from deadlines to events. I follow This Week on campus on Facebook and YouTube so I never miss a beat. Without it, I wouldn't have known about Drop Zone Night, Pickled Palette Night here on campus, Movie Night at the Promenade, or that all of these activities are free. Tune in every Friday afternoon to stay up to date on the college Facebook or YouTube page with TV. For the latest programming, be sure to subscribe and ring the notification bell. Welcome back. In entertainment news, in 2015, this day in his history marks Back to the Future Day. It's the day Marty McFly time traveled forward in the 1989 film Back to the Future Part 2. The film made some bold predictions about what life would be like in the year 2015, with self-tying shoes, flying cars powered by fusion engines, and hoverboards. The film also predicted that the Chicago Cubs would win the 2015 World Series. Felicity Huffman has been photographed for the first time in her prison uniform during a visit with her family. The actress was seen on Saturday wearing a green prison jumpsuit at the Federal Correctional Institution in Dublin, California. Her husband, William H. Macy, and daughter visited the Low Security Correction Institution for female offenders. The actress's family is allowed to visit her on the weekends. Huffman reported to prison last Tuesday to begin serving her 14-day sentence after she admitted to her role in the college admissions scandal. Taking a look at today's weather. Today, there will be a chance of showers with a high of 53. Tonight will look a lot like earlier today with chances of showers and a low of 37. Tomorrow, tomorrow will be sunny with a high of 55 degrees. Thanks for joining us. Be sure to check up on the latest WIT TV programming and our website and our YouTube page. See you tomorrow.